Baited. You got clickbaited. Cops and hopefully new people, clickbait is everywhere. Clickbaits on YouTube, clickbaits on news websites, clickbaits on Facebook. Oh wait, sex! Time to watch this video! This is why I'm single. Hashtag relatable. Uh, like! Clickbait is literally everywhere. And today I'm kind of making a video of me reacting to clickbait and making something very, very clear. When I Google clickbait, it says right here that clickbait's only possible on the internet. But then, what do you call this? What do you call changes coming as a headline? And you're like, oh snap, I gotta get this newspaper. But we all know nobody reads newspapers. I gotta open up this newspaper and read it. You kinda got clickbaited, but you can't click on it. So you kinda got newspaper baited? You know, you're walking through the streets and BAM! All of a sudden, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? I have to read this book. If you started reading Harry Potter because you thought the cover looked good, then did you get book baited? Now, let's say we're browsing YouTube. You know, there's so many videos here. It's like we're inside of a library or inside of a magazine store. We got bodybuilders, we got blogs, we have sexy guys on cars. Wow! We have talk shows. Ooh, another sexy guy. Best of pink guy. Yeah! We have girls, very pretty girls. But then we see one of these videos that is supposed to attract us to clicking on it. For example, coldest water ever. It's like a book cover. We click it, we watch it, and then there are a few people that complain that it's clickbait. Now let's continue reading clickbait, especially of that of a sensational or provocative nature, whose main purpose is to attract attention and draw visitors to particular web pages. We got morgues with his Yeezys. We have more pranks, more pranks. We got a lot of stuff. But almost always we associate clickbait with something negative. Even though clickbait made you click on this video, it has entertained you for I don't know how long this video has been going on for. And that is why I think it's time for a clickbait revolution. Instead of only using the word clickbait, which is pretty much a negative word, we should create another word. I read this beautiful tweet which showcased a comment from a YouTube commenter called Jacob Younes? 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 I don't know what his name is. Could people stop calling all titles that aim to hook audiences clickbait? It's strategy that is meant to draw attention to something. With books, you have to catch the eye of potential audience with a cover or an interesting title. And in the first bit of the book, you have to hook the reader. Same with advertisement. You can't sit there and expect people to click on your videos, read your books, or invest in your business without promoting yourself and making yourself interesting or appealing. The only crime is when the content is shit, which is definitely not the case in this channel. And I think that is how we have to perceive clickbait. And especially in this video, because we will be reacting to some clickbait, but we will only call it clickbait if it got us to press the video, to watch the video, and for the content to be shit or extremely misleading. If that's not the case, then we call it bait. From now on, it is called bait. So let's take the biggest YouTuber of the world, for example, right over here. Felix PewDiePie Kelberg. He makes a video saying, deleting my channel at 50 million is this clickbait. Because when we click on the video and we watch the entire video, and a lot of people have, he actually does address deleting his channel at 50 million subscribers. I would call this bait. He baited us into clicking the video and we got a good video. Now here we have another clickbait god. If you only see red, you're colorblind. Now, of course we see red. Of course, that's a very attractive title. I feel attracted to clicking on this video because I want to know what his explanation is. And when we watch the video, it's him doing some colorblind tests with his, with his sister. It got me interested. It teased me a little bit and he baited me. And he goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Let's just check out YouTube and see if we see some good bait. Here we have a video by H3H3 Productions. He says, driving 450 miles per hour in a Lamborghini. Let's rev it up. Okay, well, we're 10 seconds in. Okay, we clicked this video because we wanted to see a Lamborghini driving 450 miles per hour. 
with this guy on there, okay? After 10 seconds, he already got me hooked. I'm sitting here and I want to see the rest. I want to see the other nine minutes of this video. And I don't care if he's going to drive 450 miles per hour, which isn't possible in a Lambo. But he got me. He has a little parody. He has good content. He made me chuckle up a bit. <laughs> Is this clickbait? No. Is this bait? Yes. He baited me. This is bait. This guy's gonna get a like. I'm gonna like everything that is bait. I'm gonna dislike everything that's clickbait. We have five YouTubers that accidentally broke stuff. And then in the, in the picture we see big YouTuber Markiplier that broke his diamond play button. And we're gonna click on this video and we're gonna see. Oh. Okay, 15 seconds in, and I kind of want to see the rest of this video. And it's going to continue with, you know, five YouTubers that break things. So we had Wings of Redemption. We have uh, Road to Shaw, Chris MD, who broke his phone. And we have Markiplier, who accidentally broke his uh, diamond play button. And McJugger Nuggets, an entertaining video. He got us to click on this video. And the content, it's debatable if it's good, but it's definitely not shit. Shit content looks a lot different. He got the baited. Now here, we have another video by Top Extract. Five YouTuber play button rewards you won't believe exist. And then we have me looking like a dwarf over there. I don't know what's up with my face. He photoshopped my face on there. Also, great job on the hair. Three seconds in, I'm already, I already love this video because iDubs here. We have iDubs making a diamond play button. Then we have uh, this guy talking, who's probably the host. We have, you know, me in the video. And someone made an orange play button for me, which is in the Netherlands, by the way. Two fans did. And then iDubs making a diamond play button for himself. Someone else making a diamond play button and then of course we got me with the orange play button and then someone making a bronze play or a carbon fiber play button like i mean we got clickbait okay we got clickbaited onto clicking this video but it was a good video so it deserves the tag bait it morgues mailing myself in a box for 24 hours okay so this kid named morgues he is going to mail himself he got me to click on the video because Seems that he was gonna die or something. Pretty high production value for some YouTubers. Once again, it's debatable if it's good content, but it's definitely not shit. And that's why we got baited again, which is good. Clickbaited is bad, but then you're it. GTA 5, Donald Trump, GTA 5, secret Easter eggs. In GTA 5, G, what? And in today's video, I thought I'd go ahead and bring up a couple of Easter eggs in regards towards Donald Trump and- Okay, we're 13 seconds in. I'd assume there would be a Donald Trump Easter egg right now, but we have to wait. Well, there you go, the Easter egg's here. You know, the video might not be really good. He did show us his stuff. He baited us into clicking the video. He baited us into watching the video. And it's not a bad video. So he's gonna get a like from me. Even though some people might disagree. But we got baited. We did not get clickbait. Trick your mind to feel like you're floating for one minute. Do you want free quad points, gift cards, and also DLC? If you do, make sure to click the link down below. There's a free quad point. Whoa! Managed to survive that 10 second ad in front of his video. First of all, it takes about a minute and 30 seconds before he gets into the actual bit that's gonna make us fly or some shit. One little note is I'm here to fly. I'm not here for you to play Black Ops. Guys, we're gonna be looking at is going to make everything that you look at appear to be expanding. Some bits of this video aren't good. For example, the fact that there's Black Ops when I was expecting to see an educational video, not Call of Duty. He did show us how to fly or float or whatever. Feel like we're floating. I can't give this guy a clickbait stamp. He gets a baited stamp because he got us baited into watching Black Ops. But this one definitely gets the closest to deserving the clickbait button. Anyways, we got baited. Now let's find something fucking clickbait on YouTube, okay? Cops, I've been scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And so far, it's only good YouTubers I've seen. There's literally not a single YouTuber that does not make a good video. I'm still looking around and it's still not that I would be like, hey, this YouTuber I know makes terrible videos. We have to pick one, which we give the clickbait stamp. It took me a while and I'm so sorry to do this. 
I am pretty sure we have found it now. If you see red, you're probably dead. You click on the video and this is the first thing the guy says. So yeah, if you click on this video because you think you are dead, you are fucking retarded. I mean, how the fuck are you clicking this video if you're fucking dead? However, your brain is dead, so I kind of, you know, same thing. And the YouTuber is the gay ass nigga. What? Bye. Oh, wait. <laughs> what did he say? YouTuber is the gay ass nigga. What? Gay ass nigga. Gay ass nigga, gay ass nigga, gay ass nigga, gay ass nigga. Does he say gray ass neighbor? I think, Cops, we have finally clicked on a clickbait video. It baited us into clicking on the video, and once we clicked on a video, it wasn't only clickbait and shit content. This guy was also extremely offensive. Not only did he call me retarded, he called me a gay ass nigga or something along those lines. And we're only 30 seconds in. I'm I'm sorry, but you're getting the dislike. I dislike this, and you're also getting the clickbait. Scene. We finally did it, cops. I do not want to promote this guy's channel and tell you cop to go to his channel and and dislike all his videos or stuff like that, right? So please do not do that. I'm not here to bully. I'm here to be critic but we have finally found it cops i think because youtube is becoming a job for people for a lot more people nowadays it's a very evolving platform that it has to be super clear what the difference is between clickbait and between bait clickbait negative bait positive now why does this matter so much to you jory well it matters to me because I have friends and I watch YouTubers that stop making interesting titles, interesting thumbnails, interesting videos because a lot of people tell them they have to stop clickbaiting. And it's not only, it's not only you cops, it's not only the fans that say it, it's even YouTubers with millions of subscribers that tell other YouTubers to stop clickbaiting, that it's bad, that it's ruining the platform. In which I think it's the opposite. I think that attractive thumbnails, attractive titles, such as my own, right? They are there to build up a fan base, to build up this ecosystem, to build up the audience. Because I can guarantee you that if I would have never had bait, that if I would have never had these attractive thumbnails, attractive titles, that you cops would have never found my channel. I would have probably been at 50,000 50, subscribers by now, or maybe a bit more, 100,000. But still, so many of you cops found this channel because you were interested in what the video was showcasing, because I initially baited you into watching my videos. So please cops, start using the two words instead of just saying everything's clickbait. Baited is good. Damn, this YouTuber really baited me into watching this video. I was really hoping to see a worm that big instead of saying, this video is clickbait. Go and fucking kill yourselves. And like I said, it's not just me because I can fight it. I can fight these comments and these YouTubers calling me out for clickbait and things like that. But there's so many YouTubers who are up and coming and the only thing that's holding them back is their titles and thumbnails that would blow them up because they're so creative. But then there's this one YouTuber that looks down on this kid, maybe a bit jealous, and he goes, you're shit because you make attractive titles and thumbnails because you baited me in clicking on your video. In his eyes, he would say, you clickbaited. So cops, that was me reacting to clickbait, AKA me reacting to bait and clickbait. I hope we can make this a thing, I hope, you cops will share this with your friends and family and other YouTubers will share this too and, and maybe talk about this because I think it's a big issue here on YouTube. And like I said, not only on YouTube, but also everywhere. Everywhere on the entire internet. Yes, clickbait is a thing, but like I showed you, we watched so many videos, only one was clickbait. The rest was all bait. We're here to be entertained, cops. And sometimes we have to give in and click on this video because hell yeah, I want to see a condom on his face. At the end of the day, it's worth 90% of the time. The other 10% go and fucking complain, you fucking gray neighbor! In a Lamborghini. Phone shut up.